Okay, today's demonstration is for the techniques and prep work. Um, just holding this up so you can see it's 75 there. That's just a nice, um, nice little brick made out of the mold. It's five by five. Don't compress it entirely too hard. Uh, good enough to keep it as one unit. That's very important for all the wrapping that's gonna happen but um, you definitely don't want to overly compress this on the pre-press. I just figured out that it's terribly hard in a shop to claim a large area to keep clean and tidy. So I've just been designating this 12 inch tile to do that. Uh, just keep this one thing clean. This is pretty much all the area I need that has to be nice and clean and tidy for all of this. So we start out with the paper filter. Uh, I've been experimenting with these, with these uh, slightly different ones. You can hold on. I'm prepared. You can use a coffee filter, a large one, whatever size. But if they're round, you can kind of just fold them in half like this, and then fold them in half again, and then you cut along the edge here and I'll just do it and then when you open it up it's more square just easier to work with but I'm using this stuff right now so we place this just like so make sure it's nice and clean and we wrap this there's a tricky balance you want to get it tight but not too tight you can kind of feel um, that's just something you're really going to have to experiment with to figure out, but uh, definitely not skin tight, but not loose either. It's about all the info I can give to you on that. Uh, and these are extremely important, just little weights to hold things down. So what I like to do is, just on its natural way of it lies, make a little corner there, I mean a little fold, press it down flat. You want to tuck this in like such and then take these and just do one on this, you want to get it nice and tight to the corner. A little too much, I just like to do a little bit. Do one of those there. Do one of those there. Bring this in, press this down here, this is important. You want to make sure that paper stays down there, and then bring it up and press it against the edge here. That way, if this comes up, when you go to fold it, it gets all weird and wonky. So you want to try to keep this, it's, it's, pretty clean and tight. I feel like it's semi-important. You get that over there. And then the weight can just hold that down for you. Repeat on the other side. And get that in there. And I'll see how the weight is just the right size. I think it's about a four by a four and a half to really work to my advantage here. And as you press, you know, you can feel it's not skin tight, but it's definitely not loose either. So now that's ready to play with. Slide it over. I'm a big fan of PTFE, especially for directional flow. Uh, a lot of parchment pair just doesn't seem to be able to handle the pressure, kind of bleeds. It's harder to get seals on all the overlaps. Uh, a lot of personal stuff involved as well, but this is what I like to utilize. And then we just set this down in here somewhere. Try to get it nice and centered. I like to leave about, this is about an eight inch length, an eight by 12. I like to get about that much hanging over here. We're gonna trim a little bit of this off more square. So the side, I try to choose the straightest cut off of the roll to use as what's gonna be the back. So then we just pull it up like this. And honestly, this one little inch of overlap is really all you need. Once again, I try to get it a little snug, keeping in mind that once you get it nice and snug, it's always gonna loosen up as we work with it here. But at first, just get it nice and snug, put this over it, and then very similar technique with the paper fold. I press those down. And then, but for this, what I like to do, those little things, what I like to do is get my finger about there and don't have this fold go all the way tight to the corner. You wanna leave it like that. If you have it go tight to the corner, 
it can cut off the ability for the oils to flow down along the backside and clear this corner and go out. So I always like to leave, you know, I just take my finger and leave about what it comes out to be three eighths of an inch there. And just do a little fold like that, not too much. Same thing over here, just, you know, this isn't precisely measured, it's just you want to leave a little there. And once you have this same thing again, you want to work this down like that or else things are going to get wonky when you bring it up. And I like to press it down against the back side there. Mainly, if it gets weird, this overlap starts, you can kind of see it start a little there. It crinkles up and makes things a pain in the ass. So essentially, we just want to get that handled. And we bring it up. Oopsies. And this is really key here. See how these folds come out this direction? They're going to be completely inside of the area that's pressed. And it's the pressure and compaction that presses all together and makes it not leak. And also, I like this system of folding because there's minimal overlap and minimum material use. So the overlap, by overlap, also I mean you don't have folds on folds on folds because you fold it once, it's two layers. Fold it again, that's four layers. Fold it again, that's eight layers. Paper and PTFE are insulators. And I think we want to get heat penetration in there faster to get all of the constituents we're after out of there faster because heat will degrade it all, obviously. And similar concept, we slide the weight up there. Make sure the weight, try to keep it decently tight. Once again, it's it'll loosen up over time. I'm gonna have to, well, I think we can do it over there. Yeah, you guys can still see that, good. So then I trim back and leave maybe, I'd say quarter inch, three eighths all together. Um, the more you reduce the length that the oils have to travel out on this side, the more that'll, that'll drip and run off and the less you have to come back and collect later. So when you do this, you anticipate, I anticipate for maybe about a half inch of expansion in all directions. So it shouldn't, the filter should definitely not be coming out far past that. And then so what I like to do is I like to get the, we'll just use this I guess, I like to get the platens really close together before I put it in and I like to just slide this packet you want to get it just right to where there's a little bit of resistance but the packet can still slide and then you just put it in there and slide it in I'm doing it at this angle so you can see but obviously you'd be doing it at this angle and you just slide it in there and you want to leave just a tiny bit of the paper or PTFE sticking out the edge and then for instance if uh, Let's say you were doing some kind of a waterfall technique with such a way you would, you know, put your paper there, put your packet in there with a little bit hanging off. You'd have the platens closed and then you can just have that come down, bend up, gather everything. When using such techniques, I like to have it come out a little bit just to get the oil further away from the platens, fold up the edge, make a little boat, whatever have you. But then when I go to pick it up, I feel this is also important. Like I said, we want to keep these tolerances on these folds pretty darn tight. This little bit of sticking out right here really won't matter as once you press it, like I said, as the, uh, as the wall, since the walls are a little taller and they get shorter, you actually get a little more width going. So it kind of goes like that and gets a little more distance uh, off the material inside. So when you pull it out, the edge will almost be even with these corners that seem to be sticking out now. But to, break the, to pull this up, you want to get that weight just on the edge there. And I grab with my fingers on the tip where the overlap is and hold that nice and tight. So then when you pick it up, it stays one nice tight package. And as you can see there, how much distance I left because the platens are going to go damn near up to the very edge of this. And that's essentially that. Oh, one more thing while I'm looking through the screen here at this, I forgot. 
the direction I put the material packet, the filter packet inside was important. You can see the overlap and thicker areas are going this direction. And we have overlap of PTF here and in the center, which obviously where those overlaps are, there will be slightly higher pressure. So I feel like this works. The PTFE higher pressure points might help to work it outwards. This here might help with a little added pressure to encourage it forward down the sides. But what we've discovered, we've tried doing this with these, uh, the paper filter folds going the other way. So they'd be here and here. We get slightly better yields when it's going this way. The only thing we can think of is that perhaps with these overlaps of paper, it makes, so to say, like an artificial matrix. I don't know how to describe it, but the overlap of the material makes all these little micro negative spaces in between it in between itself even probably under high pressure and that might allow the oils to escape and helps them escape more kind of like um, not necessarily wicking but a fiber transfer medium so just wanted to go over that really quick why I chose to put those overlapping paper edges that were folded in this particular manner with these folds um, I think that covers it all for now and you just take this how it is and like I said you bring my platens down nice and tight to where there's a little bit of resistance but not too much because where I really like that is as you can see this is a little flappy so when you have that tightness and you put it in there and slide it in it holds this fold nice and tight so you slide it in that all stays tight and then as it gets a little bit further in there I'll take my fingers, maybe I should say you could probably use a tool, but 200, 220 degrees isn't really that hot. But I just take my pinky fingers and put one on each edge, and I look in between the platens, and I evenly push it in with my fingers pretty much until I can't go any further, which will be right about at my fingernail. So just for me and my situation, my hands, I have that dialed down, but I'm sure you can figure it out. That's not rocket science. You want to get it in there far enough to where after this inside little filter pack expands slightly, um, it won't be outside the platens, but you definitely want this small little mount of PTF, P, PTFE paper, PTFE or paper hanging outside. And I think that pretty much uh, wraps it up there.